Revolt of the Sage is a exhibition with 16 artists. The idea started with a conversation between me and Simon Moretti, and we started talking about an idea for a show. De Chirico became central to that, and then a specific De Chirico painting, The Revolt of the Sage. That painting is what De Chirico would call a metaphysical interior. Then we started to think about a set of ideas about time, about metaphysics, and about history, and how we could explore those ideas through a group exhibition of mostly contemporary art. An important moment in that process was coming across a letter that de Chirico wrote to Apollinaire. 11th July, 1916. My very dear friend, it has been almost two years now since I've seen you. The Ephesian teaches us that time does not exist and that on the great curve of eternity, the past is the same as the future. This might be what the Romans meant with their image of Janus, the god with two faces. And every night in dream, in the deepest hours of rest, the past and future appears to us as equal. Memory blends with prophecy in a mysterious union. Despite this, or possibly because of this, there are times when we become sad while thinking of dear friends we haven't seen for a very long time. You are among those, my dear Apollinaire, whom my thoughts most often evoke, who I most ardently desire to meet again one day. This, I hope, will be soon, perhaps. Your very faithful friend, Giorgio de Chirico. The show then developed into a cluster of ideas about this feeling of time, of longing, of being in time, but also this idea of a metaphysical time where these feelings are kind of irrelevant or there's an eternity out there that renders the immediacy of time somehow more poignant. And at the same time, it, maybe it renders it irrelevant that you know one life is not important. The title, I think it's just beautifully open-ended and it's very playful. You have a sage who's meant to be wise. You have the philosopher who sees the past, sees the future, is somebody you consult for advice, for wisdom. And he's revolting, or she's revolting. Or maybe he's abandoning wisdom for anarchy, for play, or for poetry. Maybe he or she just can't inhabit that role anymore. themes of time and rupture really then proposed the different media or the different artists. I think I can't emphasize enough the importance of a conversation because I think the ideas in the show are generated between the title and the different objects in conversation across from each other. The sense of kinetic dialogue between the objects within the show is really important. I really wanted the show to exist so that people could interpret it, so it could be very open. I want that to provoke a conversation, and I think that's what art should do and, and induce a sense of wonder and awe and poignancy. But really, I think it's that provocation of the viewer's imagination that is really important. <laughs>